Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial series. We are studying Python list and this is our ninth video on Python list data structure. In today's video, we will see what happens to a list when it is passed to a function. When you pass from a calling function, you pass the argument as a list and in the call function, it receives as a parameter. References are passed and accepted in the parameter variable where the parameter variable acts as an alias. It, the alias is pointing to the memory location where the list is stored. To understand this, we take one example. Suppose we have def function name fun and it is having a parameter fp which will accept a, a reference of a list means it, it will point to the same memory location where the list is stored and if you do some changes to fp that changes will be reflected in the original list which is passed suppose we are storing a value at the first position of the fp list as it is pointing to the same memory location, this will changes will be reflected in the main list also. So we create main list with name L24 containing four elements 10, 20, 30, 40 and we call function with this list as a argument accepted as a parameter in fp reference is passed accepted as a parameter in fp therefore list aliasing fp and l24 are referring to the same memory location you do changes in fp that will be reflected in l24 so click the second cell and uh, second cell and cross check if you print the value of L24, you see that the first element of the list is 10. Okay, I have used 10 in the list and 10 here. Suppose we change it as a list Python. Then Python and you check the output, you see we did changes on FP, but change were reflected in L24. To avoid this, what we can do, we can create a clone of the past argument, which is accepted as parameter inside the function. You work on the clone, changes will be reflected on the clone and it will not be reflected on the main list. How to create clone? Clone can be created using list slicing. So in second function, we are avoiding the changing of a function parameter using clone. So you have the list in FP. We store the list complete list of FP in a new list called A or we can also store the part of the list. So I am storing the first uh, sub part of the list which is received in FP from first element to last element in A. And if we change any element of A, suppose we change the last element of A as a string python3, A will be changed. We print the value of A inside the function only. We are not returning any list. This function has ended. In the outer function, we use a new list L25, which contains all decimal values 1.0, 2.0, 3 .0, 4.0. You have created a list L25, you call fun with this L25 it is not returning any value it will print A and if A is printed you have it is starting from okay L25 is to be passed so you can see it is starting from 1 2 and the third element, last element of the received list was converted to Python 3. 
Now we cross check whether these changes are reflected in L25 or not. It should not be reflected. Why? Because we created a clone and worked on the clone. So we go down and print the value of L25 and your L25 original copy is preserved as it is as compared to the previous case. That's about list parameter or what happens to a list when it is passed to a function and how to avoid updation in the original list when you pass it as a parameter inside the function if you don't want to change the elements of the original list. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Do hit the subscribe button if you like the content. See you in the next video.